So everyone in their trading journey experiences FOMO, a psychological concept that causes almost every trader out there to either not succeed or take way longer than they have to to become profitable. In this video, I'm gonna scientifically break down FOMO. Now, I'm not a scientist, so bear with me, it's more so bro science, but you will understand how your brain actually works and what causes these emotions of fear or missing out, which is what FOMO stands for, and it causes you to take action, maybe it's revenge trading, taking trades out your plan, all this type of stuff that comes with it, right? So the scientific analogy of this will allow you to understand how your brain actually works and what's causing this. When you know this, you can now properly overcome the issue of FOMO. But I guess to start with, the most important thing is the word FOMO, the first word fear. This shows us the reaction our brain is actually having is a reaction of fear. In order to understand FOMO, we now have to think how does the brain react to fear in any situation? So think about the caveman brain. Whenever we experience fear, the brain makes us take action. For example, maybe we're being attacked by someone, the action is to defend ourselves or to run away. Maybe it's to protect someone near us. If we're about to maybe fall off a cliff or something, that's a fear you're about to fall off. The action, grab and hold something, jump away from the edge of the cliff. An oncoming car is coming into you run out of the way, jump out of the way. This fear creates an action in our brain every time. If you were to hook up your brain to one of those brain scanners, you would see the blood moving out of the logic side of your brain into the action side. Whenever you experience a type of fear, maybe that's FOMO, fear of missing out in the markets, your brain makes you take action. Now, how does that translate into the markets? Well, your brain makes you take action when you feel FOMO. So you either revenge trade, maybe you over leverage, take a trade that isn't in your plan, all this action that your brain thinks is a good thing for you to try and minimize the fear, overcome the fear, which is either missing a trade, losing a trade and being in drawdown, all these things create the fear, you do the action to try and overcome it, a revenge trade, an over leveraged trade, a force trade. That's what's happening in your brain when you make these decisions. The second part, like I mentioned earlier, that is when the logic and rational side of your brain, the blood flows into the action side which sort of turns this side off. Now, this for trading is a recipe for disaster, as you can imagine, because now you're in a state where you're not entirely conscious and rational of your decisions, which is probably the most important goal you need to have in trading. If you're not thinking rationally or logically, and you're just sort of doing random actions, there's completely no way of being profitable, right? Everyone knows that you need to follow a strict, strict edge to actually be profitable in the first place. It used to be a massive problem for me back in the day was revenge trading and over leveraging. I just didn't even understand why it was happening. I didn't understand this scientific explanation I'm giving you guys now. And so because of this, how was I supposed to overcome it? Of course, I didn't want to do these things, but I didn't even know what was going on in my brain. Once you know this, you can now start working towards the fix. So to fix this, you have to become conscious. This can be done by multiple practice, but the most popular ones are, of course, meditation and journaling. So. The whole idea of these two practices is to make you conscious in the moment and that means when you're experiencing this FOMO, your brain is telling you to take this action, you'll be switched on enough in the moment to recognize it and then you can cut it off before it happens. The most important part to be able to do this though is the journaling part. What I want you guys to do is every time now that you feel yourself getting this need to either over trade, revenge trade, whatever, and you have that FOMO, I want you to journal. So you're gonna write down the cause, what caused you to get into that state. Did you take action on it? So maybe you only realized after you did it. And then once you have the cause and the action, you will start to note at the end of every week, do a review of this, all of the triggers for you getting FOMO. This is important because it brings attention to what happens beforehand, which means if you're conscious in the moment, thanks to that same meditation, you will then be able to identify before it happens. And eventually it takes a while, but you will be able to stop this habit over time and remove and eliminate FOMO from your trading. The second part where all the sort of rational thinking leaves, obviously, if I was to ask you, right, do you want to overtrade or over leverage? You're not going to say yes. So if you know yourself that you don't want to do it, same way with me back then, I knew I wanted to follow my plan, but I wasn't doing it. So that's because in those moments, the rationality, it was gone. So now it makes sense why I was making these decisions. One of the most important parts of this is to make sure you don't fall into that bad habits addiction cycle. Whenever you do these things, you get an influx of dopamine into your brain, a very large amount. Trading is one of those things that psychologically always produces a lot of dopamine. If you can imagine the situation where you guys are maybe in an over leveraged trade or a super risky trade you shouldn't have taken, you're going to be on edge and you're going to be experiencing a lot of emotions. 
which of course releases a lot of dopamine. Even worse is when this trade, let's say, ends up winning, you over leveraged, and it was either gonna blow your account or pass the challenge. If you pass the challenge here, wow, guys, the amount of dopamine you get is insane from doing something like that. You were super nervous, super on edge, you, you took this action, over leveraged 4%, and the trade won. It all played out. Huge influx of dopamine. You're probably gonna get trapped in a cycle where you always end up doing that sort of self-sabotage decision. So, breaking off from this cycle is very important understanding that you may have a dopamine addiction which is just calling you to sort of keep on doing the same thing because for myself it was a cycle i was stuck account after account making the same decision but i'd over leverage or revenge trade and i just kept kept doing it and it formed an addiction and it formed certain habits that i just couldn't break now that you understand the causes if you are someone who struggles with these issues hopefully these steps will allow you to now overcome this if you know other people who are struggling with this make sure you share this video with them because this type of thing can just change people's trading forever and then trading can change people's lives. So it's a topic to me, which I care about a lot because it's the exact same problem I went through. Of course, there's many other psychological problems as well as FOMO, but this is one of the most popular ones. So I wanted to cover it in a video today. If you enjoy this, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want some more psychological tips in my Discord, there's multiple, multiple one hour long webinars, guys. They are incredible. Okay, the information in them, I've gone in depth into a lot of psychological topics in there. So if you want to join and watch those, that will be included. Link will be in the description. With that being said, that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.